to another episode of Ball and Whiff, guys. We're still breaking down each team in the NFL uh, win totals. Uh, and now we're on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Let's head on down to the Steelers. And look at their win total. It is at 8.5, according to FanDuel Sportsbook. Uh, we have a few teams left on the list, about six more teams to uh, go over their schedule. Uh, with the 8.5, correct, 8.5 for Steelers. Let's dive right into their schedule. All right, uh, week one, they are playing the uh, San Francisco 49ers. I believe the 49ers are three dog, under, not underdog, but favorites um, by three. It's going to be a tough game. A lot of people are thinking the Steelers are going to win this game, and I, too, think they have a chance to win the game. But would I bet on them? I wouldn't. My money would be more safer on the 49ers. But the Steelers are that team that has a chance to Surprise a lot of people, and he still the um can still be around that eight to ten win mark team as well, um and then they lose week one though, and I think they lose. Ah uh, man, the week two they are zero and one. They're gonna come out pretty hard, they're gonna smack the Browns in the mouth. They can win this game. I think they do become one and one versus the Browns after falling to the Forty ers Raiders, I think they become two and one. I think they can beat the Raiders. The Steelers are a pretty good team. They have a a slight uh, trio of receivers. They got a nice, um, a nice uh, rookie tight end that um, is surprising a lot of people. Um, but the Pickens, the Pickens, George Pickens is really uh, uh, he can catch a lot of different types of balls and different types of ranges uh, with his wingspan, and he. Um, He's definitely going to go out there and fight for the ball, too. So, But Deontay Johnson is just one of the better receivers in the league, in my eyes, top 10. Um, and he's under, underrated when he was with – everyone was in the Steelers, Pittsburgh as well, and he was still doing it. He was the third receiver, but now he's number one. Um, I do have them beating the Texans, though. They will be 3-1 and one here. They will fall to the Baltimore Ravens and be 3-2. Uh, and two. They will win this versus the Rams, become 4-2. and two. I think they lose this to the Jaguars. The Jaguars are just too good, four and three, but this will be a good game. Now, this is going to be a tough matchup, too. It depends what Titans are going to get, and that's going to be every matchup with the Titans. See, Titans, um, we're going to look at them in a little bit, too, but and they are smack your mouth uh, football with Derrick Henry and DeAndre Hopkins, and Ryan Tannehill is out there uh, at the helm and controlling the offense. The defense is smacking. This will be a tough matchup. And they are like that. I think the Titans can pull this off, and I think they fall to uh, one, 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 two, three, three and one, three and two, four and two, three, four and four here. And then I do think they bounce back versus the Packers. That's uh, five and four. I do think uh, the Browns and them split. But at their home game, so five and five. Here comes the Bengals in town versus the Steelers. I do think Joe Burrow and them beats the Pittsburgh Steelers here. Uh, let me go down. One, one. I'm just trying to make sure. One and one. one oh and one. One and one. Two and one. Three and one. Three and two. Four two. Four three. Four four. Five four. Five, 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 six, six, six. Uh, they're going to beat the Cardinals here and improve the records to six and six. They're going to beat the Patriots and improve the records to seven and six. They're going to beat the Colts, improve the eight and six. It's going to be a nice game. They could split with the Bengals and become nine and six. If they do this, this is where they're going to need that win streak at towards the end of the season. And they do. Let's say they lose this game and still are eight and six, eight and seven. You got the Steelers, you got the Seahawks, and you got the Ravens. Eight and seven, they're gonna win one of these games, because uh, it's gonna be a uh, divisional or wild card for the Steelers. The you know they're always in that discussion. I do think they beat the Seahawks here. They're gonna have to if they want to keep on going and improve to nine and six, I believe. Now I think they fall to the Baltimore Ravens, or they could win this game. And it depends how where the Ravens are. They gonna need to win as well. But the Ravens need to win. I got money on the Ravens to win that final matchup and drop the Pittsburgh Steelers to 9-7. and seven. 
Uh, I think about the same record as last season. What record did they have last season? Double check. Nine and eight. Is that nine and seven? Nine and eight. Got some marking these things wrong. I'm miscounting the schedule. But I think they have the same exact schedule or record, honestly, guys. That nine win is their mark. They can win that eight, but it depends how they bounce back through the end of the season and get that win streak because they're probably going to have a nice start, too, as well. So it's really how they finish strong. But I do think they can win nine games, nine to ten games, eight games the minimum. They always are a winning team. Mike Tomlin never had a losing record. It's always eight and eight. Um, and out of his whole entire career there, 15, I don't know how many seasons he's been, but um, I would bet the over eight and a half for the Pittsburgh Steelers, guys. Over eight and a half Pittsburgh Steelers. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We got more videos, more highlights, more sports bets, more interviews, more podcast videos coming out. We're going to have local high school highlights as well for the football and basketball season for the marquee matchups of high schools around here. So, guys, make sure you follow us for the journey. Uh, catch you guys on the next video. And we're 